So we've had a couple of candidates on the channel who have maybe been a little camera shy or not used to having the camera shoved in their face and being a spotlight. This is not one of those candidates. We're gonna meet Maz today, and Maz has her own YouTube channel here in Brisbane. She's bubbly, she's fun, she's outgoing. We're gonna see how she fits in with the making yours values and what she could potentially bring to you as a viewer. Shall I go upstairs, Maddie? Maz, how you doing? So well, so well. Nice to meet you. How's your day been? Yeah? Come downstairs. Sorry we're running a little bit behind there. Thanks for coming in, Maz. No worries, thanks it's for having me. Pleasure to have you here. So you have a channel yourself. So tell me and, and the viewers, I guess, a little bit about you, your channel, and I guess what you yeah, what values you feel you you'd bring to this channel in terms of the the job description. Okay, the job description is a little bit different from what I'm used to. Yeah. About my channel, Most I... Most people say that. <laughs> yeah. Um, about my channel, it's mainly about fitness, mindset, positivity, mainly just like improving yourself, like mind, body, and soul. This role, one of the big things is going to be meeting people, men, out in public. And basically, being an inspiration for those women who are maybe struggling with confidence to meet someone out or, you know, they see a guy in a random location, wherever it is, a pub, a dog park, supermarket, wherever, and going, okay, you know, I'd love to meet him. And in the past, I wouldn't have thought I could do that. But, you know, I've seen this person on Mark's channel do it. I know I, I can do this if I want, even if it leads to rejection, whatever. That's not, that's not the point. I know I can do this. I guess, is that something that you feel... You bring to the table, or is that something you've had experience in? <laughs> what do you think? Um, when I was telling my girlfriends about this, actually, they were like, oh my God, that's so perfect for yeah. you. <laughs> that sounds like you. Um, I think when it comes to confidence like that, I don't think I have too much of an issue. I used to be yeah. a really shy, timid girl right. um, growing up and used to worry about what people think, and yeah. I've kind of grown out of that. And now it's more... I don't know. I kind of feel that's going to be kind of fun. Going to enjoy yeah. it. So how old are you right now? Maz, if you don't mind me asking. Stop. Guess. Oh, don't, don't <laughs> give me this. No, no, this. No, no. Cats. Cats. Uh, I have no... I'm trying to remember from what you told me. I think you're late 20s? 28? Is that what I that? look like though? Actually? Oh, God. I'm not playing this game with you. I'm not playing this game. Not on camera. This is bad. Clear me in. Give me a number. 28. Older. Okay. Now give me... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm 31. 31. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Would you have ever said that you... I have social anxiety? Like, did you ever identify with that? Or were you yeah. more just like, no, I'm... Um, at the time, didn't realize what it was. Mm -hmm. um, I think I... When I was 23, I went traveling alone for three years. Right. And I think that that's be. what changed. When I came back... Everyone was like, oh my God, Maz, you were so different. Like, yep. And I was more out there because I think traveling alone forces you to... To find step, your confidence. Yeah, yeah. And step out of the comfort zone or it's going to be really freaking lonely. <laughs> like, yeah. So what would you say if there's a woman watching who sees you and sees you maybe go talk to a guy in a bar and says, that's great for Maz, she's an ambivert with great social skills. You know, I, I can't relate to her because she's so confident, so bubbly and even so young. What would you what would you say to a woman like that who maybe doesn't have your confidence when you're out there? Well, everyone has insecurities. Like everyone has that fear. Like I have that fear. <laughs> like yeah. I can worry what other people think, but what you focus on grows. So I believe just do it, fake it. Like especially if they're a stranger, they're, they're not going to know any better, right? Yeah. <laughs> so just fake it, and eventually, if you keep doing that, you'll trick yourself into. You build that habit yeah, you, and build that It's kind confidence. of like, yeah, you become what you were originally faking. Yeah. But now it's you, yeah. So when they're faking it at the beginning and they don't have the confidence that you have and they go up and create an awkward situation and then even get rejected and, and it's weird, how do you recommend they mentally recover from that? Well, no one likes rejection. Right? You're like, oh. <laughs> but I think you just got to laugh it off. Like... See the bright side in the situation, see the funny side to it, because I'm pretty sure it'll be funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the back. future. Yeah, in the future. Maybe not yeah. right now, but like 
It will be. Yeah. Yeah. It's a big thing is even though it doesn't feel good at the time, you can still have that almost like safety mechanism to kick in, which is like, wait, you took an action. Rejection is good for the soul. You know, pat yourself on the back still for just giving it, giving it a roll. Great way to see things like that. <laughs> and so tell me, are you in a relationship yourself right now? We've had different candidates. Some are single and some are in relationships. What's I'm your status? Single, single. Very single. single. Beautiful. Yeah. Have you been single recently or have you been single for a little while? I've been single for like nearly four years. Right. Yeah. Okay. And are Dating, you... Dating, but so I had... Like I've dated in that time. I've been like celibate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, I've, uh, I've, I've, I've kissed a boy. At one stage. <laughs> so what's your, if, if you had, I mean, your channel's all about health, you know, you've got a lot of positivity on there. There's certainly crossovers. I guess if, if you had a single tip for women who are feeling maybe like they're not a catch and not that confident within themselves, what would be your one thing straight off the bat? I know I'm putting you on the spot here, but yeah. straight off the bat, what would be something that you say, okay, here's how to reframe yourself as a catch and feel good about your prospects with men? Yeah. So I kind of talk about that kind of stuff on my Instagram as well. So, yeah, cool. Um, basically focus on like the positives of yourself. And sometimes it is hard to think about what's good about yourself, if, especially if you have low self-esteem or feeling insecure. But um, I like to think of it like your friends, your close friends, because they're the people that love you or they wouldn't be your close friends, right? right. <laughs> so think of how, what they would say about you, like five traits, how they would describe you. Okay. And, and stop trying to put your own... Yeah, yeah because our minds can play tricks on us and what we focus on grows, right? Yeah. But if you step outside of yourself and look at yourself from someone else's point of view that loves you and focus on that, you know, you get a more, yeah, you kind of feel a bit kind of take your negative BS, self BS off it away. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. So, uh, Maz, you're obviously a confident young woman. I feel like you could meet people in most environments. Would that be a fair statement? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shall we uh, go to the pub and Do find I? out? <laughs> I'd like that. Let's get some dinner. Let's head out and uh, have a bit of fun in public. All right. Let's do it. So we're heading down to the pub. Uh, we're gonna make this kind of a natural, in, well, the pub's a natural environment. You'd be having dinner there, you'd go out with your friends there. There's no reason you can't have a bit of fun and do more than just eat at the pub. So Mass is gonna issue me a couple of challenges, I think. And uh, she looks way too excited <laughs> And I'm pretty concerned about what she's gonna come up with. And then I might have to fire back some of my own material and see how she goes. You excited, Mass? I'm excited. Yeah, let's have fun. This. All right, let's go grab some food. Our food is ready. Now this place is a little bit dead unfortunately. I was hoping for a more kind of normal, busy restaurant bar type. And if you pan around Maddie, you can see it's pretty dead. However, there's some people in the restaurant. Uh, so, me and Maz have come up with a little social challenge. Or I came up with it and Maz is really excited for it. We are going to get our food, sit down at someone else's table. She picks my people, I pick hers say sorry I'm late and the winner is the person who can go in and stay in for 80 seconds like a bull riding comp you got to stay in mm -hmm. the conversation for eight zero seconds mm -hmm. if we both make it then Matt's going to judge who creates the least awkward conversation during it so Maz has picked for me a family uh, an Asian family of five who are sitting down having a dinner this is going to be they may not even speak English like there's no room at the table. There's literally stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna have to move their stuff to sit down with them. <sighs> Come on, Fred. <laughs> All right, and Maz is gonna sit down with three guys uh, who are not far behind them. So we'll have to watch that we don't cross over. All right, 80 <laughs> seconds. The winner, I'm just saying 80 seconds. I don't know how we'll time this. Oh, what I'll do is, well, I'll set it for 90 seconds. And uh, I know I've done it. Hello! Hi, how are you going? Yeah. Sorry I'm late. It was a very busy day. My cat escaped. Yeah, Alan, right? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, Steve? No. no. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Yeah. Enjoy your dinner. You have a great night, guys. Have a wonderful dinner. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. How are you? Oh, I'm really late. Everyone's finished. How was your meal? You got to see me. You have to catch up and drink two beers. Oh, because <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, you came here and you didn't get a steak. 
No. I thought the barramundi looked good. Have you eaten here before? So you've had the barramundi, yeah? I Oh, do you? Is it really good? Oh, man, I missed out. Medium rare, right? Medium. Oh. Medium rare. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got that. Yeah, you are a bit light. I don't know, I feel really bad. You forgot food? Oops, I just spat food. <laughs> His shot. <laughs> oh my god, I want to see what happened. <laughs> yeah, that was really awkward. She smashed me. Way beyond, you would have gone way beyond 80 seconds. Hey, I'm not sure if I made the 80 seconds, but I was definitely more awkward than she would have been. There was like, do you know the funniest part? The kids loved it. The kids were the funniest because they were just couldn't keep the smiles off their faces. How did you find it? That was like honestly totally outside of my comfort zone. I cannot say I've ever done anything like that. <laughs> Even solo traveling. Even solo traveling, just walking up random, pulling yeah. myself up a seat and joining someone's dinner saying, sorry I'm late, is <laughs> not something I'm used to. <laughs> I was trying to like resurrect that and make conversation and then once once the woman was not too happy with me, she kind of stopped talking to me and so the guys kind of stopped like acknowledging as much. I was like, oh, I don't want to make this too uncomfortable for them, but I still want to win the challenge. And um, well, the, the kids were loving it, so I was like, it's not that bad if the kids have got giant smiles on their faces, but... Yeah, that was hard. That was. That was, was hard. Never, my heart's still like it. <laughs> yeah, right? Right, although Maz um, was, you were critiquing their steak choices and stuff, so you're having a bit of fun. I was, I was just talking to myself about the bank that we worked for. <laughs> All right, so we're heading home now after that rather interesting little social experiment and fair to say a test of both our courages. Do you agree, Maz? I definitely agree. How are you feeling? I'm still like, that was actually insane. <laughs> Did I actually do that? Oh, right. And I can't believe you chose like a lovely Asian family. And the only people that were happy about my presence were like the five-year-old children. It's such a, it's such an unusual, you know, thing to do. It's like, it, it's interesting how conditioned we are, right? Because it's just, you sit at a table next to people and unless something major happens in the room, it shows how out of context it is for us to actually talk to each other. Right? Like, you could be sitting next to like a lovely family like that or some guys, and unless there is something to trigger the conversation, it just seems so out of context. That makes you nervous, right? Oh, and you're that was crazy. <laughs> freaking confident. So it shows that, you know, even someone with that social confidence uh, will still find that nerve wracking, you know, and that's, that's true for introverts, extroverts, ambiverts, true for all of us. You know, in terms of fear, like physical fear, you know, walking along a cliff, facing a tiger, how do you rate something like that compared to that? Would you, are they par? To be honest, like on the drive home, like I've gone like bungee jumping and I'm scared of heights. And I was thinking on the drive home, like I actually think that was the scariest thing I've ever done Scary in my thing life. Like bungee jumping, wow. Like, I don't know, I was like, I've still got adrenaline pumping. Thank you so much for coming in and spending your time with us tonight. It Thanks was for super fun. Me, yeah. yeah, that was so much fun. Anything to add, I guess final thoughts? No, that was, basically an eye-opener for me too here i am thinking oh this is gonna be easy i told my friends about this and they were, they literally were all telling me that's so you maz that's so you but like now doing that i'm still like what just happened shows we yeah. all have these fears right and even yeah. you know maz has been one of the most extroverted out there candidates obviously socially confident woman and everyone everyone has this so if you're watching this and feeling this you know you're not alone it's something that we can push through and even me and maz create the awkwardness you know i'm supposed to be able to talk to anyone a family but certainly the mom didn't want me there right <laughs> so any one of us can feel this awkwardness and be freaking like scared of it and you can still push through it and and break those or challenge those social boundaries to meet the people that you want to meet so yeah Thanks for coming in. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Hit the big red subscribe button with the little bell as well. Check out Maz's channel. She's got a great channel too. Thoughts, comments, questions below. Put them all in there. Give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.